What's going on, Born for Sports? Last night, the New York Knicks at MSG. Welcome back, RJ Barrett and Emmanuel Quickly. Man, it was a little tough to see our young guys, you know, on the other side of, of, of the fence, you know, uh, as the opposition, man. But I feel like the Knicks got it right, man. MSG and the Knicks took care of them. And, you know, and the fans, man. Shout out to the fans out there. You know, they didn't do nothing crazy like boo RJ, boo quickly. They did right, but I made them feel welcome and appreciated. You know, listen, they weren't perfect players here. You know, and ultimately they didn't get us over the hump. But you know what? They were also a part of the rebuild and and the franchise uh, culture change that started a few years ago when they drafted RJ, when they third overall, then they drafted uh, quickly 25th at, uh, overall. You know, this this these guys were here and they embraced New York. They embraced being a Nick. You know, and that's not always been the case with a lot of players that come here. You know, New York ain't, <laughs> New York is not, it's not for everybody, man. Not a lot of players, especially in today's NBA player, who in my opinion, a little more soft, but that's a story for another day. But there's not a lot of players that that want to embrace the challenge of being a New York uh, athlete, especially a New York Nick athlete. And these guys embraced it and they, and they thrived and loved it, man. And, and you know you could see it last night with the tributes and everything and their reactions that it, it it really it really hit hard for them that they won't be here they really enjoy truly being here and this team is you is a family these these players love each other the organization they take care of them so you know what you know i still feel like with that trade we gave up a little too much to get og and Anobi. Um, and ultimately, getting a star player by the summertime will ultimately show if that trade was the right trade to make. But you can't argue with the results right now. The Knicks are nine and two after beating Toronto last night. They're nine and two since the trade. Uh, they're playing much better defensively. Uh, Brunson and Randall. What can I say, man? They they've taken their games up a notch. You know, Jalen Brunson, top five point guard in the NBA. You could give me numbers, you give me stats, I don't give a damn. He, if you watch him every day, you'll see he is a top five point guard in the NBA. 38 points, nine assists last night. You know, uh, he's he's just he's just great, man. He's he's been a great signing. One of the, um probably the best point guard, in my opinion, I've seen the Knicks have since man, since maybe what? Marbury, Mark Jackson, I don't know, man. But uh been a long time I've seen a Nick player, you know, that I have a lot of confidence in that I could say is a star. And he is a star, no doubt about it. And he putting in the work, man. 38 points, nine assists, had a good game. Julius Randle, man. What can I say, man? You know, regular season Julius, you know he's gonna give you everything he's got, man. He's gonna play and play well, usually. But um triple double last night, man. 18 points, 16 rebounds, 10 assists. Really played well last night, man. And um, you know, he's been he's been really coming on usually when Brunson this tandem of Brunson and Randall is is amongst the best the Knicks have had in a long time, man. And they're showing it. Even after the trade, man. Even after the trade, then they've turned their day game up a notch. Some of that is also because the ball movement is much more smoother. You know, you don't have three dominant ball dominant players at the same time in the starting lineup when you had RJ in there. Because OG is more of a freelancer, you know, he hits those corner threes, you know, athletic wing, doesn't demand the ball. Would like to see him bring it up offensively and keep developing in that department. But, um, you know, you could definitely say that he fits the team better since the trade, you know, right now. He fits the, the team a little better. And just like Toronto, you know, they got better with RJ and Quickly in their lineup, you know. So it could potentially it could potentially be a trade that helps both teams, you know. Despite of what what I feel like, we gave up a lot to get OG here. With and Precious, yes, I know Precious Achua came in that deal. You know, Bad Dante came in that deal. But the the trade is built around those three players and OG, um, quickly and RJ. So you know. All in all, it was a good game last night. They blew them out 126-120. And, um, you know, just need the Knicks to keep getting better, man. And they look like they are getting better. 
you know, still the problem is the bench now. They need to address that going forward. They need to acquire a scoring player, a top scorer to replace Quigley's production in that uh, bench unit because uh, the inconsistencies of the bench will uh, ultimately be their downfall in, in the summer. So um, the, the trade deadline is coming soon. The Knicks know what they need to do. You hear a lot of Bruce Brown, Bruce Brown talk out there. You know, it's pretty pretty much a Josh Hart clone. But, you know, he's a solid player. He played on Denver. He's got that championship experience. You know, Josh Hart is banged up. You know, so maybe that's some direction they may feel they might need to go. Um, Brogdon is a player I think fits the team a little better if they can acquire him, um, you know, as a scoring guard off the bench. Won six man a year last year in Boston, you know, um, which I still feel quickly should have won that. But... <laughs> We all know the Boston bias out there for in the league, but uh, I felt like that was Quickly's award last year, regular season wise. Even though he, you know, playoffs was different, but Brogdon did win that, and he would he would fit this team very well, I think. Um, coming off the bench of what they need, you know, depending on the price. Uh, Jordan Clarkson is the num name out there as well, but you know, looks like Mr. Danny Ainge, A.K. I want to rape trade the Knicks or whoever team I trade for is looking for a ransom for him, so they can he can kick rocks with all that, you know. So I think maybe Brogdon or Brogdon or um, Brown will probably be the the top choice for the Knicks to acquire uh, in the trade deadline. Um, just please don't give me no more Ellis, uh, Mr. Burks. Alec Burks, I can't do another season of that. Uh, that would kind of drive me crazy based on the names that are available. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. All in all, great performance. Knicks keep getting better. 26-17 record, moving up on the Eastern Conference. You know, so let's keep it going. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Born for Sports. Let's go Knicks.